Hello guys, welcome back to the Stage Talk podcast. Uh, this time round, we have a show preview. Uh, this is for the Alicante show. This is the Spanish pro show, the M- MPC European. Um, and we're going to be going through the lineup for the Open. How's it going, boys? Go. All good? All righty? Uh, do you want to jump straight into it? Let's get it. Yeah, all righty. Let me pull it up. Share screen. Jack's on the edge of his seat. I am actually on the edge of my seat. The excitement. <laughs> um, so, obviously, with this show now, um, they've been given top three qualify for the yep. Olympia. So, that's this is obviously a massive show now, hence why yep. plenty of big names have jumped in. Um, yeah. You've got boys coming over from Canada, Brazil. Um, right. We've got big Rami from wherever oh, he's traveling. <laughs> Yeah, Rami is a wild card now at this point because who knows if he's even doing it because um, I've seen a lot of conflicting stuff. Uh, but and also there's a big British contingent as well. There is. Um, and a, a, the good thing is a lot of them are quite quite friendly with each other as well. So mm. it's almost like a team going out there to compete, but they're essentially competing against each other. So. Yeah. Mm. It's going to be a lot. I think there's going to be a lot of banter on stage. There's going to be a lot of fun going on. A lot of like, just I want. I don't want to say fucking around because obviously they're on the pro stage. But it's going to be a lot of <laughs> banter, you know. So a lot of sque- squeezing of the glutes. Yes, <laughs> a lot of uh, a lot of poking, poking each yeah. other. Yeah, it's, going it's going to be good. I'm excited for it. Um, right. Let's get down to the brass tacks. By the way, people, we're just covering the open. Yes. Yeah, just so. the open. Alrighty. First one in we the, have. Hang on. In the wrap up, in the yeah. wrap up, we'll cover all the men's divisions. But in the preview, we're just going for the open pro show. Cool. Right. First up, number one on the list, we have Slavoj. Mr. Bender. Oh, Bender. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bender. <laughs> um, and what do you think, guys? He's got that old man look, isn't he? He does. Yeah, surely he's he's got to be an older pro here. Um, I believe so. Oh, no, it says in the description he's tw- 23. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> <can you> imagine? <laughs> look at his... Well, don't get me wrong, here. he's solid physique. Um, good, yeah. good, good doubts. Just weak sort of in the chest area. And... and- then- that's in accentuated by his midsection. As yeah, well. and, and also yeah. in the in the legs slightly. So that right. once again. Don't get me wrong. It's got good legs. It just hasn't got much sweep to them. Yeah. yeah. And that, that <laughs> goes back to what Joe said. And then it sort of takes away from the... So like his midsection is over-exaggerated then by the fact that his sweep and his chest aren't incredible. It's not like he's got a really wide waist either because you look at this back yeah. lat spread and his waist looks tight. From from yeah. there, so I feel like he's going to be one of the harder guys on stage. Yeah, his condition is great. So yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, but I just don't see him competing with someone that's got a bit more pop to them. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. that's I him at nineteen days out, one hundred and twenty kilos apparently. So yeah, and here, yeah, he's lean. Oh. He's in. So that's that's good looking. That is conditional. Yeah, so that's for sure. Yeah, he's he's ready. He's ready. However, I do not have him in my first call out. That's for sure. No. No. Um, right, moving on. We come to one of the heavy hitters, Raf. Rafael Bandeo. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting one. What's most recent? This one. The front, yeah, the front lat spread video. Jesus wept. Clearly, that's been somewhat filtered. It's the lighting as well. That is very generous lighting on him. I think, but it looks. He doesn't look as hard from the side as he does from the the front. I agree. But every everything but, on him has been significantly brought up. So and that, that was, was always thing. that was always the criticism of him. That just he was just to, to, just needs to be bigger. Yeah. That's it. Because he always came across as like people like, oh, it's a classic guy competing in open, um, because of how nicely tapered his physique is. But now, like, he's definitely stacked it on, hasn't he? What was his off-season weight? 
What did he get up to? I don't, think he, I don't think he pushed too too much, to be honest. Mm. I think he's got close to 300. Jesus. If that's true, how tall is he as well? He's not tall. About five and nine. Yeah. Um, on, yeah on Heavy Muscle Radio, Chris, with... yeah, Chris was saying that he, he'd, last time he competed on stage, he was like 254 or something. So Jesus. He's been uh, down. He's considerably great. Flex thing. Lewis. Mm. Yeah. A lot of it. Yeah. We've been seeing so some good, uh, good mentorship there. Absolutely. Apparently, you can speak very good English as well now, which is mm, cool. Good. But and that, that it, without bringing the politics into it too much, that will play in his favour. Yeah, a lot. absolutely. Yeah. Also, when you consider like Brazil is like his his community, his fans yeah. are st- all stands. They're yeah. they're so vocal. Like yeah. when he didn't win, which I can't remember which show it was last year. Or the year before, he didn't win a show. Which one was it? Um, but he did he get beaten by um, Juan Morel? Yeah, uh, it might have been. Yeah, it was what. Yeah, and he know. lost there. And oh my was, god, it was the Arnold Brazil, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. I, I was it watching was, it. It was uproar. Yeah, I was watching it, and well, the comment they section. Booed him, didn't they? Huh? They booed. Yeah. I think they booed Morel. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're brutal. Like he is like their poster child, I guess. Like yeah. he is the face of bodybuilding there. So if he if he comes in and like you take something like this and you stick an extra, I don't know how many pounds more. Mm. Yeah. The the problem is the same with everyone. Looks fantastic by himself, but yeah. he may be a smaller guy when placed mm. next to one of the big guys. So we'll especially see. the one thing that I think is going to be interesting is. When you take someone who we're coming to later, Jamie, and you stick him against all these shorter guys, does that upset the sort of like makeup, if you will, of the lineup? Because then there's there's someone who is six foot five being compared to all these other guys, and that, will that throw off the judges from looking at certain people? Do you know what I mean? So yeah, I think they they find it hard. Even if Joe Hart was pretty good, they'd find it hard to place him in a top five. Yeah, but because you can't you can't leave someone of that stature and size on the outside of a call out. Yeah, it, ju- it just wouldn't look right because because eyes are still going to be drawn to him all day because yeah. he's so big. Yeah. So I think he almost like fits in. Maybe I, well, I don't really want to say it, the center of a third call out pushing into the second but he'd have to be in the center though wherever he is right? yeah that's what i'm saying he'd have he'd to be have in the center be. Um, but yeah i'm excited to see what he comes looking like because like his physique it's only when you stick him next to people where you can actually see do you know what i mean yeah it's on chest. his own you see pictures on him yeah, and you're like oh my right. god yeah first, yeah first and full chest right next we what? have have him in the top six yeah i, I have him in my top six yeah, yeah. He's, he's gonna be he's gonna be pushing for a top. He, he he's he wants that Olympia qualification realistically from this show, and yeah. I think he's yeah. more than more than capable of getting that. So. Yeah. It's just whether he comes out with the trumps on the day. Um, right, our boy, Cubes, Cuba, right here from Rotherham. That's what we thinking? This one there. What we thinking? I think King of the Foot under, Jobs. He's oh. under no illusion that. He's not gonna sort of crack top five in this. Um, yeah, he's well. Got, he he understands the depth of this lineup, and also he's obviously targeting the British. That's where he wants to do his best. He's mm. even come yeah. out and said that he's not peaking properly for this show. Um, with him, he knows it's just uh, this is his first pro show. He knows it's just a gradual progression. He's made loads of progress, totally. like massive amounts of progress, and he knows. He's all he's got to do is keep chipping away and doing that again. He's got time on his hands. He's young, so yeah. he's just doing it to get him get his name out there a bit. Yeah. Um. He's got plenty of clients doing the amateur show, so he was going over anyway. Yeah. So it just makes sense. Makes sense. Really. Yeah. I. Do you know what? Uh, I think I think he's got a really unique physique, in my opinion. How many guys do we th- see in the, the lineups nowadays who have arms like that? That's the thing. He has got arms, yeah. And it's not like his midsection's blown out either. 
Like it, it, it's very, it, it's a bit, it's an unusual look um, compared to most people nowadays. So I'm excited to see what he looks like on stage. I'm definitely excited. He's to a see bit of, a, of extremities, isn't he? That's but it. You don't look, you don't Which, look at his torso and get blown away, but you look at his arms and you look at his legs and some shots and you're like, whoa. Crazy. Yeah, exactly. Which is like Which a good him, thing. But it makes him look bigger. Which is the goal, no. right? It's it's very yeah. much the the Frank Zane syndrome of training your extremities to the point where you can stand next to some of the bigger boys because you have a bit of shock value from those body parts. Like that yeah. front double looks great. Yes. Midsection non-existent. Arms wham. Yeah. It's like uh, reminds me of Antoine. Yeah. Yeah. I can yeah. See that. I can see it. Maybe in a few years, you know, he'll be up there with the alongside Antoine at the Olympia. Who knows? I know it's kind of funny to say this, but don't you look at his back and think that he is just a much bigger AJ? Like yeah. his shape and structure it looks very similar, doesn't it? From the yeah. in, that it back, in that back shot, it does. It hey, makes but, sense. You know, they are they are going set for set on everything they're doing. Yeah. So realistically, they, they are, are going to look in the same the same exercises. So yeah, you know, you never know. That could be why. But yeah, I think that's quite funny. It's quite interesting. Um, so yeah, like super excited to see what he comes out with. Yeah, I think for for Cuba, you know, depending as as he knows, he's under no illusion of what he's aiming for. But I think cracking the top ten is very possible. I think so. Doesn't really have any flaws. Like his physique flows very well. He's a bit shallow from the back, as he said himself. Yeah, cheeky like there, uh, Jermaine. Yep, got the dropper like, <laughs> got the whole but, uh, like. Yeah, got a good crew. Um, but no, I think ten, top ten would yeah. be good showing for him. Yeah, yeah if you get a uh, top ten buzzing, I think top ten buzzing for this. Alrighty, next we have. May I just say, Hader is looking big. Yeah, isn't he? Oh, isn't he just? And fair, and fair play to him. Like he, he caught the. He didn't win the overall the other day, and the next day he was back in trading legs in the morning. Mm. Like and he was smashing it as well. So fair play to him. He's got well, no need. To, he's got yeah. no need to go in and train legs. Yeah. But he did. He did it. You know. Yeah, he's trained at Ultimate when I've been there before, and he, he trains like an animal. Yeah. Um, he's a good guy. So, so best of luck to him as well. I don't know if he's competing, but if he is, yeah. best of luck to him. Right. Uh, we've got the the lion. Samson. The Nigerian, Nigerian lion. lion. The Nigerian lion, Samson himself. Do you know what? I am I'm very intrigued. By, I'd say, by I'd where say side shots still holding, looking fantastic. Back, not as much. You know, this this looks good. This looks we weird. we mentioned that that looks amateurish, if I'm honest. That that doesn't have a pro pop to it. You when know, was we, this from? Yeah. Where is this? This is at his gym, the gym he trains at back up north. Okay. Where he's from, I can't remember. Yeah. And when, um, so when do we say this is from? Is this current? Are we thinking this is current? Yeah, this is only a few yeah. days ago, I reckon, yeah. Um, Three days ago. He's not, he's not doing a Rami and thro doing throwback posts. You think this is current? I don't think. Now, we mentioned, we mentioned this before we came on, that He's been dieting for such a long time and he's been dieting through very stressful times as well. Yeah. It's not the best way to retain muscle. Um, he's, Even done very, he's done very well too, but yeah. I think there are certain, his weakness, his weak poses have faded slightly. Um, yeah. Which he's, got is, strong, he's got strong side poses, they've held fine. Um, but yeah. that back double is just slightly down. Yeah, and when your weakness is slightly down, that leaves you open quite a bit. Absolutely, absolutely. In that, in that, um, erector shot reminds me of Kai Green in the upper body. Yeah, yeah, I see it. I see it. Very apart, maybe, apart from uh, compare compare the back thickness when Kai yeah. Green did it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just condense it to a much smaller person. You got Kai Green. <laughs> yeah, it's a very. I like. I like this though. Like. A good shot, though. Yeah, it is a good shot. It is a good shot. I hope he makes full use of that transition there. On because, as as we say, like it's hard to put everyone in places because of you know our opinions and things like that. But as we know, 
<clears throat> his uh, weak points are more than likely going to be down. Yeah. So I've got him anywhere between seven onwards. I don't see him cracking the top six. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, excited. I, think- I, I just want to see him posing, honestly. Yeah. That's one of the things I'm excited for as well because we all know that he is a fantastic poser. He'll, he might well be the best poser in this lineup. He might well be. Yeah. So, yeah. All righty. Moving on. We have... Whoops. Oh, steady on, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> My bad. My Regan bad. Regan Grimes. Regan Grimes. I need to wait for the bloody control panel for this stream to go up. Come on, get the con. Just the con. Take the big grimy bowl. Yep, that's him. Here we have Grimes. Um, what are we thinking? I hope, he, I hope he gets it. I hope he's conditioned. Because if I do. he is, he'll do well. Oh, he, God. There's always been the... There's always been the question mark over him at every show that yeah. he's not in condition. Look how dense this is. That is, but that's not that condition. That's yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's, it's got that Jake Cutler sort of look. Look at oh, the... Loads of potential. Loads. Yeah. The legs are ridiculous. When he I does could... put his arms back in the back shot... Yeah. It's, look it's look who's commented as well. Shit. Yeah, it's shit. Time to ride. <laughs> Yeah, no, I think, do you know what, I, in this shot, I think that he doesn't actually hit this back double properly. I think he's got a lot of shoulder problems. Doesn't lean it's, back. Yeah, and it doesn't look like he's rotating enough to fully open you know up. I mean? It looks a bit to, tight. He needs to hit up the uh, deep tissue massage. Indeed, indeed. He, he looks tight through his rotation. <clears throat> but I see I him get the top five. Yeah, for sure. I agree. I agree. I definitely agree. Like, he is, again, one of those physiques that, at the end of the day, if he comes in right, he could absolutely smash some people in this. Yeah. He could blow people away. Obviously, he did Romania last year. Um, he was definitely bigger. He, but it wasn't that hard at that show either, and he, no, he still wasn't. came away with good places. So this is you know? current. This is from his last leg day. Yeah. What are we thinking? I think Regan's one of them guys, you know, you can look amazing on Instagram, but... That's see it, at the end like. of the day. Are you gonna, some people's, you some people's physics don't don't lie though. Like you can see that that's happening. If you get me, but I don't know. He might. That, that side shot looks pretty nutty, mind. Yeah, leg, no. I agree. Yeah. The, the conditions there. Let's be realistic. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Excited to see this. Very excited to see this. Yeah, one point three million followers are excited to see. It. <laughs> Made it. <laughs> And now we have another British boy, Mark, who used to train for a little while out of Ultimate, our home gym. Yeah. Um, and yeah, they're excited. They're excited to see what he comes out like. I think definition of a at, freak. If we look at that by itself, that's a phenomenal shot. Mm-hmm. These pictures are phenomenal. Yeah. I just think that when we put him against someone else, maybe may look a bit small. May look small. That's the thing. Is it me? Yeah, I'm looking at the legs right now. Looks like, uh, reminds me of Patrick Moore, but bigger. Mm. That same illusion. Yeah. I think think it's a young Brandon Curry. Mm. Mm. He's a taller Brandon Curry. He's not that young though, is he? He's like mid-30s. Is he? What, Mark? Yeah. Sure. So we'll yeah, fact check that is. first. So we'll fact check that. Yeah, he's not, he's, no, he's not young, though. No, he's not. But Jesus, what look at him. What a guy. Yeah. This so is I think for him, I think variation. for him, we have potentially from that like seventh to fifth spot, maybe something yeah. like that. Um, it's going to be a good battle from the Brits yeah. in that area. Think it's it's all... actually it's actually whether or not his legs are actually small. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean, or whether he just creates the illusion of that in this shot on his own. Um, we'll see. Because from the side, he actually looked he, he looked like he had some legs from the side. Legs aren't small. It's yeah, just, that's it. Got that um, Juan Morel look. Where yeah, he's, but he's so bubbly large. up top, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. He's so bubbly through like his muscle bellies and his arms and stuff. It's yeah. Very cool. All righty. 
That's the kind of guy who'd get on the cover of Flex every month. Yeah, back in the day, for sure. That was his last show in. How much do you think he's come on from this? I think he's come on a long way. He said he's put on about 10, 15 pound. If that's the case. (laughs) When he came on the the podcast, that's what he said. Yeah. And if he's, if he's, if he comes in as conditioned, if not more conditioned, we could be in for something. Yeah. It could be, could well be dangerous. Yeah. All righty. Next one. The shed. So I think these two, are, these two are where the battle's at, really. Mm. I think this would be a nice battle between oh, the two. I think he's so, James is so much more in, though. Do you think? Oh, yeah. James, in my opinion, will be the most in guy on the stage. Now that's crap lighting, and he's still in there. Yeah. Do you know what I mean, yeah. That's look at look at his look at the lower back, the glutes, <laughs> veins in the lower back. Has he got any? He's not even really got any roles, has he? No. <sighs> Jesus. You know, even if if he was to put that leg back mm. as well, the hamstrings would be all there. Yeah, and he's he's absolutely flat, <laughs> right? Yeah. Can we agree that? I think so. Definitely on his way. Yeah, you look at this. You look at the back here. You can see how flat he is. I think. Um. The um. You gotta think, man. James is like six foot tall. People forget that. Yeah, uh, he's, he's a he's like the same height as me ish, isn't he? Yep. So he's he's a big guy. Look at this, Jesus. He's the conditions there. I think push filling him up to the brim is going to be the key thing here. Yeah, if they can, can fill him up. Him. Yeah, yeah. It's what it's like. I, I, I thought about I it this way, right? It didn't work with. Um, Patrick Tour's filling up method, you know, running people flat. Yeah, yeah. Getting them didn't really work, in my opinion, for uh, Ian Valier. But I think James has always had the problem that he's coming too flat. Yeah. And he says that this time round, he's, they've pulled back a lot and they've, they've yeah, been yeah. smart in like choosing when to take stuff there and when to yeah. actually rest and recover. So I yeah. think he's not, he's not like burning out. He's, he's still fe- relatively fresh. Isn't he? So, and he's only just got his diet face on in the past couple of weeks. It's not been there for months and months. I don't want to jinx it, but I hope whatever methods Patrick uses that it doesn't come up like a Ian in Tampa. I, I hope. I am. I'm hoping and praying. I think James has got the physique where you can keep pushing the food and pushing the food and everything. Without him spilling, because there's nothing. He's skinless, to be fair. Yeah. Thing is that when is he like we spoke about this the other day, Joe? He doesn't really come in off that often, does he? Really? No, he just comes in flat. He's yeah. always in He's condition. Always flat. What's his weight? Do we know his current weight? Two seventy ish. Big, big. Yeah. That's dangerous. If he's if he's flat and he's two seventy, then fuck me. <laughs> This this filled up. Yep. Because his waist isn't actually bad either. His waist is know. good. His waist is good. It's tight from the side as well. He's in. What do you think? Oh, God. I might bump him up in my prediction. Mate, I think you'll get like... Like I said, it's going to be a fifth, a fifth to seventh battle between him, Hector, and maybe Samson. I think. Okay. See, so I've got, if he comes in flat, I don't see him any lower than fourth. If he comes in perfect, I can see him second. I can see him as high as second if he comes in with everything ace. I think, yeah. think Brandeo is just a lot more complete. I agree. I reckon standing next to James, you'll look very soft. It, yeah, I think it's also like the, like the training age and like, because I'd, I'd never look at Brando and, and think granite, granite hard. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Uh, but but James, then again, but... if if Rami is the look they're going for, clearly condition doesn't mean a fucking thing. Yeah, because Rami's, <laughs> Rami's not granite. He's no. like... Well, Mark, sorry, sponge. It's yeah. Europe. It's Europe. I don't know what the European look is usually for the NPC, to be honest with you. What do they like? Braided. All right. And he's there, isn't he? 
I think in my be. opinion, you know, you look at San Marino Pro, you look at Alicante last year, you know, James was uh, what third behind a very lean Akeem and Josh Lenartowitz. Mm. Yeah. Uh, the previous year, who won? Fucking. Who won the year before? Ian Valier won the year Ian, before. Ian won it, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, he was diced. Second was Roman Fritz. So they like oh. condition. All right. You know. Then this very well could play well to him. Like he's got yeah. the strength there for like the home front on on that show. Like, let's be honest, we all love James. So. Yeah, that's it. I I want to see like if if I if I could say it and I believed it, I hundred percent. I'd just be like, oh yeah, he's gonna win. I want mm-hmm. him to win. To be honest, he deserves it in my opinion. But so does Samson, you know. So mm. it's a weird it's a weird one. But I think I think that. James, if he comes in and he's he is actually this and full and like granite hard still, oh my god, like with tan as well, with tan and a good tan. He look, can, look at the spread there, right? look at the fucking rear delts, Jesus Christ! <laughs> it's just mountains here, isn't it? Yeah. He's got lats, he's got a tight yeah. waist here, he's got mountains. His glutes are in, dense, 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 and it's just, oh. So I'm saying between second and fourth, you're saying top five, Jermaine. Oh, saying, yeah. I'm saying yeah, I'll, I'll say, I'll, He's, he's going to get, a, I reckon he'll be, at the very least, fifth, then I'll say. If he comes in well, then, yeah. All right. That's what I mean. I like, you got to look at contest history as well, like, with the show. Yeah. Like Garen's James, probably, James yeah, never does yeah, awful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think. yeah. And he's always yeah, he's, he's never he's never flapped a show. Yeah, no. Except for the big man, two thousand eighteen. <laughs> yeah, but I think he admits that yeah, he did yeah. that. Like he he tried to be as big as possible. Which I remember was, watching the. Uh, he, was, he I spoke to, spoke to him about it not long ago, and um, he was talking about when they were filming for the uh, the JP site back in the day. In between takes, him and Jordan were just shooting up insulin. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan, oh, because he was competing as well, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What Jordan was, I uh, didn't Jordan say on the Fuad podcast, like, that he'd done, I can't remember what the number was, it was a ridiculous amount of insulin. Yeah, 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 yeah. that was with Milos the year before. Yeah. yeah. No, two, the year before he did the Navi Universe, I think. Um, well, right. Milos gets up to like 120 IUs a day. Yeah, I think this was 150 IU a day with a thousand grammar cards. That's nuts. But yeah, yeah no. I think the response was no wonder your waist is blown. <laughs> I think that his legs here actually look very, they don't look massively, massively flat or anything. No. It doesn't look like he's lost a lot, but he does need to fill out up it's here. Back flat as shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he really needs to fill out here. And if he fills um, out. It's crossed. I hope he fucking does. I hope he does. I hope he brings brings it home. Right, next. Igor. Veiny beast. <laughs> <laughs> My dark horse, in a way. In a way? How so? Explain. Uh, he's dressed on... like he's about to do strongman with these socks. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I hadn't looked at his page um, in the past like, six weeks. Mm. And Jesus, what? I won't lie. From the front, his waist looks a bit gone. Yeah, but yeah. density-wise, fuck me. Look at that. That is pretty mad. He's he's what is uh to me he's, he's going to be borderline top six. Really? Yeah, it'll be, it'll depend on what he what condition he brings because that condition will bring the waist in a bit. Yeah, um, if he comes in tight, in hard, you know. Ooh. If he comes in real tight, yeah. Not pretty, but it's yeah. fucking Has he had any tricep injuries or anything? I don't know, they do look a bit flat, don't they? Yeah. He might have. I can't remember. It'd be wrong for me to say that for sure, but yeah. possibly. Yeah. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Might have heard this. somewhere before, but it might not be. I want to see the legs as well. What the legs yeah, are yeah. Like. His legs have never been a strong point, but his uh, presentation... Seems to uh, like that. He won't do, pull that shot like that on stage, if you yeah. get me. 
So yeah, he's going to have to try and keep that midsection as best he can, really. Yeah, looks a bit like um, a big this is a, it's, of, it's a bleak, uh, isn't it? It's a bleak slot yeah. that's blown out. Yeah. What's his name? The guy that came was it third in the Tampa two twelve? Aaron Aaron Clark. Aaron Clark. Okay. But that's sort of uh, sort of look going on. Already got his Christmas socks on. Of yeah. course. When was this from? Like, where, how recent are these actual pictures? Are they these from a few weeks ago? Because he doesn't look that, that close to a show. Yeah. No. Say it's three days ago, but I doubt they're like from that day. I, I, I don't yeah, think I hope not. I hope, yeah. I hope they're not like right now. Interesting. Hmm. It would be the one of the freaks of the show. Yeah. Yeah. See, this you looks... Guys, you guys got any thoughts? This, I don't, I don't this know. This is two weeks out. This is two weeks out. I don't think the condition's there. I don't think it is. What would he be? I don't even know if he could do something crazy to pull it in. Well, he's what, like 270 there? 122 kilos. He's got a really That's about weird... Because from the side, his leg actually looks like it's in decent condition there. Very, he's, a very, he's just very vascular, isn't he? Yeah. It's I, I can't, the... I can't quite place how lean he is. Mm. Hence the name. Yeah. Yeah. Veiny beast. It's really bizarre. Interesting. Hmm. I, I, I think he's going to be just out of like, he might fit in like the eighth place, seventh yeah. place. It's, it's just the waste. It's, just, it's the waste. Yeah, yeah. it's the waste. It's the waste. Let's you go know, on to uh, Kujar. Yes, especially with guys in front of him, like uh, with small waist, like um, Mark, Samson. You know them guys. They might show him up with the waist. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Killy, Killy Kuyala. What a freak! I was looking at this earlier, yeah. and he is a freak. But is he a freak standing next to people? Yeah, that's or what I want to know. <laughs> Look at this most muscular. Like, like, that is a scary shot. Jesus. Head <laughs> looks like another Dell. Yeah. <laughs> he's just man with his three head is a muscle. <laughs> he's an yeah. ugly bugger, mind, isn't he? <laughs> He's just a gnarly physique in it. It's just gnarly looking. Looks good, man. He's round, big. Looks very good. Text, uh, thick, thick, he is a leg. bodybuilder's bodybuilder. Uh, you know, where is, he? is he from Finland, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Inter mm. I'm really interested in seeing what he looks like. I'm interested in him, actually, this pose next to uh, James. Yeah. I'd if like to happens, see that. That'd be cool. I think they, they'll match up quite nicely, actually. Yeah, do you know what I mean? I think so. He's not like, he's not, he, I don't want to say his legs are similar to James's, but... Um, Different shape. But... Yeah, but they, I, I feel like they're, they've got a similar quality in some yeah, ways. real muscle. Yeah. yeah. Um, nasty bastard muscle as all that. Yeah, he does look nasty. And he's in, go. I think he's well in. Do you guys yeah. think he's in? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. That was I mean, uh, like however long ago. The, um, in with the autumn it's leaves there. Yeah. I'm intrigued. Right. Next one. We have. Oh, this is an interesting account. This is the Latham's. It's, yeah, it's, it's both of them, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there's these two. This says new, Paul, new pro, Paul, yeah, Paul yeah. Latham, won the British. I thought he was going to go into 212, but I, is he over the weight limit then? Must be. Guess How so. big is he? Well, he what? Not, was he his like, not that big. Like, How was he a heavyweight at the British? He was heavyweight, yeah. Does he remind you of um, Tofton a bit? Yeah. Oh, bear with me one second. I can see that. I think Tofton's a bit better from the back. Yeah. Maybe not in the lower body department, but back to the um, fitness, you know, stuff like that. But the guy was, was nasty peeled for the show. And um, he's had a few more weeks to like bring that in. So in my opinion, he might be rewarded by the European judges. Yeah. You know, I think top 10 could be on the cards. Um. I just don't know. We've not seen him stand next to a pro yet, so we shall see. 
guys, uh, we might have a spot of bother here. Oh, no. My charger has failed. Oh. Your charger has failed? Oh, no, we're good. We're good. My charger yeah. just freaked out and wouldn't turn on. There we go. We're fine. Um, okay. Sorry, listener. Sorry for that. Technical difficulties. We're fine. Um, right. Yeah, look, he, he looks good. Looks good. But I don't, I think he's way too slight. I, he won't, in the, in the size department, he, he won't stand anywhere near. That's the problem. And, and like, from a first, from like the first, when you first come That's out on stage, cool. that yeah. means a lot. Like, if you get blown away size wise from the start, yeah, that yeah. Means before you even hit poses, like, don't get me wrong, his condition is fantastic, yeah, but yeah. that doesn't even matter. Like, if you just get nuked, and at the end of the so, day, it, he's on the pro stage now, yeah, yeah that's it'll be nice to see him next to Cuba, yeah, I'd like to see him and Cuba next to each other. Who, who yeah, you put out of the, sure. those two? I think I've got Cuba. Uh. The, the problem uh, is because Cuba's not peaking for the show properly. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I think I think Paul could potentially do him purely because he's peaked. Paul will probably go all out for this one. Yeah, you know yeah. he's peeled. He is peeled. But I mean, obviously these are ideal foes, but yeah, he's in. Well, Paul's not an old guy, is he? Um, I don't know. Maybe yeah. early thirties. Yeah. Hmm. It'd be cool to see anyway him next to Kuba. You know they're complete opposite physiques. Yeah, might it might happen as well. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's pretty gnarly. That is gnarly. Right, five years. Let's go on to Andrea Muzi Mozilla. I think we we. Joe, you said potentially another dark horse in this line. I, I, I think agree. so. I agree. 273, 273. Pounds. Jesus. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> this, is, this is another freak, isn't it, really? So, yep. yeah. Very freaky. He's not Definitely. missing a thing. No. Yeah, he's got a lot going for him. He's got a lot going for him. Jeez. Look at this. That's look a nice at the, look how wide he is up top. Remind you of Fuad? Yeah, I, can see, I think there's yeah. the light in that looks. Yeah, I think yeah it, especially yeah. with like a bit of a tighter... He's got like a bit of a tighter waist, like a younger... Yeah. A younger Fu. He looks very good in those shots. Look at the quads. Yeah. yeah. I just, I'm just so impressed by this. Look at the width across his shoulder girdle. Yep. Yeah. And how it inserts and yeah, very cool. Looking forward to seeing him on stage. I can't remember the last time I saw him on stage. Was it the Italian? Um, San Marino. San Marino last year. Was it? Might have been. Oh, got a side shot. Look at the side shot. It's not like the glutes. Not like <laughs> the glutes. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. This was from like two weeks ago. Ooh. So he's yeah. without a doubt flat here as well. Yeah. Well... <laughs> Fuck no, this could look be flat to me. Yeah, looks flat because I think he's flat. Just like if you look at the yeah. chair, and obviously look at his face. <laughs> his <laughs> cheeks are pulled in, so I think he's in. Yeah, he's gonna shock a few people, in my opinion. I think so. I think so. He is. He is one of those freaks, though. He's he's got that freak factor. Yeah. And he's going to be in condition by the looks of things. It's just whether or not he peaks. Yeah. 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 Does, he, does he work with Maro Sassi? Huh? I think he works with uh, Maro Sassi. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. I, I think... I'm, I'm very... I'm, I want to know what he looks like next to Regan, I think, from this. Yeah. This next to Regan hitting him most much. I think he could expose that. Regan because yeah. no doubt he's in condition. Yeah. Yeah. So Regan might not be. So if he matches him size wise and he's in condition, yeah, could take well, him. 
Well, Regan's not two hundred and seventy-three pounds, is he? No, no, but it's the like the illusion. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I know, I know what you mean. Visually, how they look next to each other. Um, and then we've got Oli, Marek, Olinjak. Yeah, he's uh, again similar, similar like the first the guy. Uh, similar to the very, basically very similar. The mm-hmm. shredded white guy. I think <laughs> yep. he's got a little bit more pop to him, though. I think yeah. so. Legs. I prefer his legs. A little bit slight be... around the knee, but doubts look fantastic. Yeah. Going to be completely peeled out of his brains. Yeah. Has he ever won that. Nabba? <laughs> you give it a go. <laughs> he lo- looks like a Nabba guy. Yeah. <laughs> bit slight from the back. Yeah. A little bit slight from the back, but if you look at the freaky body parts, you know. Yeah. It is gnarly. Shredded, absolutely shredded. Yeah. So he's 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 competed at the um, European before, right? I assume. Possibly. Oh no, that you did the monsters in there. Ooh, look at that. Now that's a photo. It's a good shot. That. That bit, is. Bit more in the chest. Bit that's more in the chest. Bit more in the in the legs. You know. But yeah. arms and arms and doubts are fantastic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got a good amount of pop. Good amount of pop to it. Let's let's look at his actual monsters in routine. I love watching these. His physique looks very real, if you get what I mean. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Whew. Boom. Yeah. Nice. There's some gaps, but it looks peeled. Fun. Yeah. Absolutely peeled. Oh God, that was the. Did you see his teardrop? Yeah. The fi- you can see the fibers in the teardrop. <laughs> Look at it. Feathered. Boom. Looks really good. And his waist isn't awful, so I, I, I give it to him. He looks good. Looks very good. Just needs more in the chest. It could looks be, like uh, he could have had a peck injury recently. Yeah, mm. maybe. As well. It looks could like he's re- his left. Really head. flat for that condition. I don't know. Yeah. He, um, Look at I think that. Him, I think you'll you'll be seeing him compared with uh, Igor quite a bit. Yeah. Him, yeah, Igor. Yeah. Oh, he looks. He, it is like make. It gives you that stank face when you're watching him pose. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're seeing every single fiber popping. Boom. He's very showy, isn't he, on stage yeah, yeah. on his own when he's doing poses. But yeah, a little bit slight from the back for me. Very good though. Ready right for the bone? No? Yeah, he's, he is like peeled to the bone. I hope he posed to bad to the bone as well. <laughs> he looks like a kind of guy who would do that. Yeah, that three quarter bicep one he does there is cool. What do you What do you guys think the place in top ten? Round about there. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'd like 10, him in. Yeah. I'd like to, yeah ten. I think the thing is though, if he's absolutely peeled, he could show yeah. some people up conditioning wise and push some people out. He might not end up placing better, but he could show some people up. Um, okay, on to the glute. The glute, Lucas Osladil. Yeah. <laughs> I think- Didn't impress me to be honest with these. No, because the thing with Lucas, normally he does loads of shows. Yeah. So yeah. he's like a bit flat. But he hasn't done any this year, has he? No. no. But saying that, that lower body, I know he's running now for his glutes, but those quads are pretty full. Yeah. In that shot. Look at the sweep over the knee. Look at how it hangs I'm over the knee. He yep. does look a lot fuller in that than he normally does, to be fair. Yeah. Um, that's eight days out. So that's four days out. I personally will think that will hinder him rather than. That's not fa- that's not the normal condition for him, though, is it? That's what I mean. No, it's different. Something's different. He looks like he's he's like definitely filling out, playing the fuller yeah. cards. Yeah, because but... you look here, he's like his his skin's getting t- he's gotten tight around his quad versus here. I think it's t- he was tighter now in his quads. If we take it back to Romania last year, a James who was not as good did beat him. Mm. Mm. True. So, 
Yeah, I've, I see I've him got, in. Um, I've got James potentially doing him, to be honest. Yeah, I've got, as I said, I've got Oswald in fifth. So yeah, that's. I think roughly he's going to be fitting around that fifth to seventh again. Yeah. Again, always going to have an interesting routine. I expect a few glute yep. rolls. Um, let's go on to nothing. Next one. Uh, let's go on to Milan, Milan Sadek. Or as um, James Holland calls him, Sadek Milan every time. <laughs> <laughs> interesting physique again, isn't he? He's is mm. one of those. Does he look a bit downsized? Yeah, I, he yeah. I was about enough. to say he looks a bit. Although he was a he was a two twelve. He could tell. Yeah, <laughs> he yeah. Could tell. Look at look how much of his leg is adducted. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I do. I think he's uh, thoroughly downsized. Interesting. Yeah, he doesn't look doesn't in this. He doesn't look as big. Um, and yeah. there's some big guys in this lineup, so that would yep. see him bump down. You know? Him next to Jamie. Igor, Igor. blow yep. him away. I mean, there's not much happening with that quad sweep there either in that shot. From the rear, he looks like he's a, a, someone who's about to do a classic show. Yeah. Not about that, but. The, the, in, the, the lower, in the lower, there are yeah. classic boys that are like that, you know? Yeah. The, the the back double looks a bit like a classic competitor, but then you look at his lat spread and he's so wide <laughs> through yeah. his lats. Again, I think him and Mark Hector are going to match up really well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Two, I think two I think guys of extreme proportion of him, I think. Yeah. Uh, three days is. out, 10 days out here. But will he be as hard? I don't know. I hope so. He better be. If he's if he's downsized a bit, he better be. Looks absolutely. big in that gym shot, though. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, he does. I don't know what to expect. Actually, looks pretty big there to me. I don't know where we, what this is going to look like. I think him, Igor, Mark Hector, and uh, Mozilla are going to be all around that that mark. Mm. Yeah. He looks Ooh. lean, though. He does look lean. Yeah, well, that, that's that's not a pro show threatener there, really, is it? Like, yeah, not for, for, not for me. Think. Not for me. He's pulled again, a great this, this is the guy who's placed top five at the uh, New York Pro. So mm. interesting. We'll yeah, see. I hope I hope he I hope he comes in like you know on it on like completely on, if but I don't think he, even then he's got a shot. I think shocking. if he's flat, he's going to be around seven to to like to that ten mark. If he's well, on, if, no. If he's if he's flat, he's out of top ten. I think. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think so. He'll just get he's blown too, out by all he, the big he's guys. He's too small. He's too small to be flat. Yeah, to, uh, he can't yeah. risk it. He has to be full blown. If we're saying that Kuba could potentially be top ten, though, do we see Kuba beating him? If Kuba could have him. Top? Yeah, I think so. I, I see Kuba having him. I don't think so. The based on based on who he is and what he's done previously, I'd say no, he can't beat him. But from these, yeah, I don't know. You know, I think shot, shot for shot. Milan. I want to see. He is this. The, we will have to see Milan next to people. We have to yeah. before we can make a complete judgment. But I don't. I agree with Jack. I don't see him being a threat. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see it. That's true, actually. I agree with you guys now because we've just talked about the uh, the Finnish guy, a couple of guys at the start of the video as well, the Croatian and the yeah. Slovakian there's a guy. few other yeah, yeah. There's a few yeah. other guys out there who could who are Europeans who could. There's too, have... there's too many guys that are just much bigger than him. Yeah. Yeah. He stands out. Well, doesn't stand out. <laughs> That's the problem. Okay. Could see him at the British as well. Speaking yeah. of um, people, we have Dimitri. Yep. From Greece. Interesting. Hmm. Look how big his lap body is. Look how long his torso is. Yeah, that's the issue. Long torso is so his lats aren't there. Yeah. He's got one of those, um, he's got a bit of a Nathan thing going on. Yeah. Yeah. Got some doubts, so Jesus. 
Again, looks pretty damn pale to me. I like how he looks from the front. I yeah, do. I just, hate, I just hate that staggered stance. Yeah. I don't like this actually. I think it, I think I think he loses some leg yeah. here. Um. Yeah, I just don't think he's that impressive from compared to the guys that we've seen. Yeah. You know, like, think of the doubts that we've just seen. Yeah, that's know? true. Yeah. He's still, according to him, 120 plus kilos. So this might be a taller guy. Yeah. Yeah, but he's not he's a there either, is he? To be honest. Doesn't look 260 to me in that picture on a normal heighted guy. So maybe he's like six foot something. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if he is tall, though. I think he might just not be in condition. Maybe. I think he might just be fat. He's not, <laughs> is he? He's not, he's not peeled, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, you look at the lower back, like, he's got, like, he's still got a bit of chub. Yeah. Yeah. To be fair, this, this is one. from August, to be yeah. fair. Yeah. But yeah. still, even, even that compared to that. And really, that we've spoken to. Hmm? I said that in comparison to pretty much everyone that we've spoken about, he loses that shot. Yeah, I agree. I think he's the weakest here. Yeah, well, shot. probably. I hope he shocks us. You know? Yeah, it'd be fun if he comes in, he's actually 6'10". <laughs> Isn't it ridiculous? Right, next we have, speaking of giants. Marv from Home Alone. <laughs> we yeah. have um, the giant, the extra from the Castaway movie. Yes, no stranger to this podcast either. Yeah, we've had him on before. Yeah, very nice guy. Best of luck to Jamie uh, for his pro debut. Was Ooh. recently on. Uh, was recently that, that, that will that will shock a few people. I think on yeah. stage. Yeah. Yeah. Especially and like the, and tech. the front lat spread because yeah. of how big he is. Yeah, that's yeah. gonna look like you. But you boys have been stood next to him as well, right? When you stand next to him in person, yeah. it like him in clothes in person, just standing there. It's like when yeah. you used to have is a big a... PE teacher in school, and you were yeah. in like year seven. Yeah, and like go and have a it feels like you 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 have flashbacks to PE yeah. as a kid. You turn into a little schoolboy again when you stood next to this guy because he's so big. Pictures don't do justice. Look at that. It's a good shot. Look how full he is. Through. I, this is one thing I saw, which I was very impressed by. This one. That look one at, was... When I saw this, I was like, whoa. Yeah, yeah, look at the delts. The chest, the arms. Through his he's waist. Got, he's got the, the freak factor. He's got the, the big legs. He's got the delts. Do you, think he is delts. The, do you think he's the freakiest UK guy? Um... As far as physiques go. Well, think- considering the difference he's made in his physique since his um, winning his pro card, yeah. uh, if he carries on at that rate, he'll be absurd. Yeah. You know? <laughs> if, he, if he has another big... If he has a few more years, Brandon Curry style of him. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I am... Um, a monster. Yeah, look at that. Fantastic. Best front last bed in the game at the moment. I, th- I think he's going to wipe. Air. I don't think there's anyone who's touching his front lat spread. Keep, keep on no, adding got... a little bit more lower lat to it as well, and that'll be unreal. And his front, like, his, look at this, his abs and thighs. <laughs> yeah. I wish, I wish he could put, he'd put his arms up more. He doesn't need to, mate. He's just hanging over the top of everyone anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Is that so all? <laughs> he yeah. doesn't need to. He just wax his head off one of the lights on stage. They're at his hip height. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> this is the, this bit, is the thing yeah. that makes me worried. Yeah. Yeah, that, that looks miles off compared to the front shot, isn't it? You know? Do we yeah. have anything that... Let's look at the more recent stuff. Does he have a side shot more recently? No, he doesn't. He looks more in there. Yeah, yeah, he does. That's for sure. Looks in. His issue as an amateur was that he wasn't as good as he... He wasn't as good from the back as he was from the front. Mm. But... Doesn't put up many back shots, we know it. 
Um, Look at this, though. Oh yeah, his condition's certainly coming. It's it's pretty good now, you know. I don't that, think he's. I don't think he's going to be off. That's for sure. No. Look, at the end of the day, right? He can afford to be off because no one looks like him anyway. Yeah, that's that's the thing. I was speaking to um, all the boys in like what well, the group chats, like Tim and everyone like that. And we were just talking about how people keep forgetting that this is his pro debut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And and people like you've, when you've got Nick Strength and Power posting about how this guy is this show's freak in the yep. lineup, which potentially could have had Big Ramy or has Big Ram, we don't really know. For a pro debut. Yeah. Like, look at this. Like, he, like even then. And he's added a lot since then. You know? yeah. His arms are a lot better. His legs are a lot better. Everything's a lot better, I think. He looks as if not more conditioned to me. Yeah, I think so. If he comes in that condition... I think he'll, be, the... he'll be a very good watch. Yeah, yeah, for sure. If he's in this condition... And he's added how much? Because he's 295 on stage, they think, from his most recent vlog. It was about two, I think it was high, high 280s. Mm. There, so he's put on about seven pounds. And hopefully a lot of that's good, man. back as well. Yeah. Oh, this could be, this could be very I difficult. hope he does well. I hope he's rewarded for his uniqueness. I, um... How many yeah, people? But how many even people, so it's going to be a good battle of British as well. Yeah. How many quads, people yeah. who I- exist nowadays, yeah, who are six foot five, have a waist as tight as this, quads each the side of size of his of his waist, basically, like yeah. <laughs> what that quad is his waist, like oh, it's scary, man. It is scary. And this is from, when was this? This is September 27th. And he's definitely a lot leaner now. Yep. Oh, I'm excited to watch this. Just for the freak factor. Yep. Yeah. How to, he's the same height as um, Lou Ferrigno was, wasn't he? Lou's apparently lied about his height though. Yeah. How, how, how tall was Lou? Do we know? Three, six, four. So he's even taller than Lou was. Yeah, the last real tall guy like Jamie's height was uh, Ralph Moeller. So. Yeah. Uh-huh. Who was what? Like, thinking to the Olympia about in the mid-80s? So. so this is... Oh, this is something else. If he comes it'd in be, and he's on... It'd be good to see it on stage, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah. I wish I, I hope could. the life is good. Who is it in the, um, in the PCA who's quite tall? On stage and on stage, he's he's freaky. Josh, Ma- Josh Maley. Yeah, Josh on stage. When I when I've seen him on stage, and next to shorter guys, oh my god! And that's and how tall is Josh? Not as tall as Jamie, right? Just under Jamie, I think he's an inch, two inches, I think. And Jamie is, in my opinion, a better bodybuilder. That's for sure. Yeah. So, oh, le- this could be lethal. I'm very excited for this. Uh, I think that's everyone. Uh, 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 uh. Who are we missing? Big Rammy. Oh, do we have to? Fine. <laughs> that, was, that, was my, uh, that was my reaction more than I heard he was doing this show. <laughs> do we have to? Big, big Rammy. I don't think he's going to be in condition. Neither do I. He he's not even small, that big though. there, though. He's medium Rammy. No, but he's not because medium Rami was pretty conditioned. He <laughs> looks soft. This is, this is just... I'm just I've, I've just had enough of big Rami. <laughs> this is just flat Rami. You, 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 have, you have got to ask yourself, like, what the fuck is he doing? Right there. <laughs> like, you're, pro, you're, pro, you're a pro bodybuilder. All you've got to do is eat and train. Like, what are you doing? Like... I don't know how he's, he's gone good, so far. He's, 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 I don't understand how he's gone so far back from being second. Yeah. How do you how do you go so, that far back after placing second? Backwards. Uh, yeah. I can't wait to be back on stage again. I'll give you a pass. Well, 
But he's still gonna win it. Yeah, yeah. he'll still win it. I agree. Yeah. Like, like, look here. Oh, I'm losing you guys. But this is. I agree. Current. This was this was pre last year. Every single year, he's just got worse and worse. Hmm. Yeah, but even even a worse Rami probably still wins this show. Which I'm is... not saying he's not going to win the show, but I think... And then he's not going to do anything from that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's not a lot else to see, is there? It's ridiculous. He's not relevant anymore. I don't want to say he's not relevant anymore, but... He once kind you... of is, Yeah, though. but once you've come that far backwards from a... What some would say a close second to Phil Heath for the Olympia. Sorry, to guys, for the technical difficulty. Like us right now, in. questioning whether or not. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me, guys? Your, your internet's just crap, Jermaine. I know, it's just like proper crashed right yeah. now. Yeah, I can hear you. Ooh, sorry, guys, I don't know what the fuck happened there. This has been full of Travis. This is the impact Big Rami has. Yeah, he's just crashed out everyone's <laughs> shockwaves. <laughs> just <laughs> destroyed my Wi-Fi connection. Sorry about that, guys. We're back now. Jesus. I, I clicked on this image and then everything went he's, kaput. He just broke the internet. He just <laughs> broke the internet. We're back now. That's, that's a good image, Mike. That's a good shot. Let's be yeah. honest. Breaking news, Rami's at the Malting. <laughs> <laughs> he just just destroys the front gates walking through with his footsteps. Crashes the <laughs> Wi-Fi out. Security can't stop him. He walks well, to my I, room. I think he'll win and I hope he does win. Um, I just want, I want to see a good Rami, though. Yeah, if well, he wins, yeah. he needs to be good Rami. He needs to be the big, lean Rami. He needs to be... Bit, what is the big lean rally? Like, this is pretty lean here, right? Yeah, but it weren't, it weren't good enough to win. Uh, right. He couldn't... Present Rami couldn't beat what some would call an off William Bonac. Now, when Rami was what we call Rami, he beat a better William Bonac and placed close second... To Phil Heath. Some like, said he even beat Phil, you know? Yeah. I don't agree with that, but... Some people were suggesting it, though. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Jeez. I've just... He's let the, the community down that many times. He has. I've just had enough of him. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. It's like the, the Egyptian who cried wolf. <laughs> Indeed, indeed. Yeah, God, I don't know how to. Yeah, big loop there as well. I remember seeing him when I was like sixteen in person and just being very confused at what the fuck I was actually looking at. <laughs> <laughs> so the first bodybuilders I saw in person, I was like, "What the fuck is that?" <laughs> I didn't even know what his name was at the time. It's like he's the modern day Victor Richards. Yeah, but. But he's already, oh, he's been second in the world. Yeah. But there's only one place for you to go now. Yeah, that's it. And if we, if you, if you're being questioned that you're going to win what technically is a second tier pro show, mm. what the fuck is going on? Yeah, that's true. He should be just nuking these. Yeah. He should be. He should be, he should be a new. But York here we pro are debating. About exactly. It. That's what I mean. He should be a New York pro champion. Should be on a classic champion. Should be European show, blow everyone out of the water, yeah. finish off the season, come back next even, year. They shouldn't even Olympia. need to do the show. I know. Like, they shouldn't need to do the show. Yeah, honestly. He shouldn't have to, yeah. Do we all agree, though, that if he's good or not, he's going to win? Uh, I reckon uh, eight, 85 to 90% Rami easily wins the show. Okay. I like how we're talking so specifically in percents with Rami. <laughs> like, that is really how it is, though, with him. He's a, he's a very much a percent guy. 
if he's 84, he's not going to win. <laughs> and, and, That's it. And, and if he is 84, he's going to have to retire on stage. because He's, <laughs> he's going to have to Does bow it, out. Is it a pre-judge in a night show or is it a one run through? Oh. Uh, I'm not sure, actually. Yeah, I'm not 100%. Unfortunately, I can't even fucking watch it because I'm at work. It's uh, not a thing, is it? It's not a... Um... Hang on, let's talk about this off the air. So, let's wrap this one up. Okay, okay. <laughs> let's do that. Um, so, yeah. Any closing uh, thoughts, Jack? Well, I don't no. want to end on Rami with, on no. screen. So, all we're going <laughs> to say is it's a great, it'll be a great day for British bodybuilding. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, it, it's a great day for bodybuilding, let's be honest. Like, there's, yeah. some, there's, yeah. there's some great names in there, and it's going to be a great show. Um, obviously, we will be doing the wrap-up. So, yep. I'm sure we'll have plenty to talk about. I'm actually really looking Absolutely. forward to it. Probably the first show that I've been really looking forward to for a while. I, so, this um, is really exciting. This is my Olympia, I think. Mm. This, this is good. This is a really good show. So, yeah, I'm ready for it. I'm very ready for it. Taking a picture for that. Thank you for there listening and make sure you tune in to the wrap up. Yes, yes, indeed. We'll be back to uh, cover this show as it happens. Well, not as it happens, but after it happens. Uh, so, people, yes. I'm going to do a Johnny Reed. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you don't, fuck off. That's like, share, subscribe. All that That's time. right. Right. Thank you, guys. See you guys in a bit. Bye.